It's a city of 300,000 people. A city which has seen millions of pounds invested over the last few years. And now, a city with a new leader. Graham Miller is the man in charge, elected after the death of Paul Watson, who led the council for nearly a decade. He has big plans for Sunderland. Should be seeing the fruits of several thousand high quality jobs coming into the International Advanced Manufacturing Park through in Washington. Uh, those jobs will support the manufacturing sector and the supply chain and that will feed into redevelopment uh, of housing and infrastructure in, the, in those areas as well. We've also got the Vox site to fill out. We've got the first building on but there's a great deal more work there needing to be done. So I'd like to think that we'll be developing that further. We've got Park Lane at the station where we're looking to redevelop that because the city centre is drifting slightly west towards the university around Keel Square and the Vox site. All of those infrastructure projects uh, will enhance what we are. Uh, we'll be continuing to look at our cultural offer. We've got tall ships coming this year. We've got the air show, of course, which is the, the biggest event of its type uh, in Europe, free uh, for the public to enjoy. And we've just got more to do after that. So I'm looking forward to the challenge. And it's here at Sunderland Civic Centre where Graham Miller will be carrying out the most of his work and promises after being elected as the new leader of the Sunderland City Council on Tuesday. Sunderland is moving forward and the council says it will be at the heart of this changing city. Word on Wearside, Beth King.